Hi everybody, this is Tim Picciarello, your friend and buddy and uh, professional keynote speaker and marketing trainer and consultant, and I used to be a comedy magician at one time, so feel free to email me with lots of applause, any comments, questions you have, tim at timpick.com, T-I-M at T-I-M-P-I-C dot com. I promise you I will respond to every single one. Uh, and I like, like I said, I was an entertainer, so remember, I do need that applause, all right? And you can leave them in comments or likes on my Facebook page or anything like that. You'll find, uh, go like my Facebook page, as a matter of fact, Tim Picciarella, keynote speaker slash marketing trainer or consultant, something like that. Uh, and from time to time, um, I'm going to do a little magic here, too, so just as kind of like to break things up. But for the most part, I'm a keynote speaker. I talk about personal development. I talk about overcoming adversity, uh, success, motivation, and I'm also a business building coach and trainer. So it says marketing trainer, but what I teach is that everything you do is marketing. From the customer service, from the time somebody walks into your place of business, if you have a brick and mortar business, or however you deal with them, if you have an internet presence and you do mail order through that way, uh, everything you do is marketing because people are watching you. It's hi hyper competitive today in today's environment. Um, I specialize in, in healthcare practices. I work uh, with uh, chiropractors, acupuncturists, massage therapists, um, just all the uh, dental practices. Those are a specialty, and even they have to uh, be concerned with customer service today because that determines a, a large part of their marketing and how many patients are coming in and going out. But today I want to talk about fear just a little bit. I want to reiterate, if you read my first two blogs, um, they were all about fear. The good news is fear doesn't go away as long as we continue to grow, right? We all have fear. And you've probably heard people say, I'm not afraid of anything. Baloney. Everybody's afraid of something. We all have fears. It's to the degree that they impede your ability to succeed in whatever you want to do. In other words, if they're getting in the way of your goals and your strive for it, then you need to do something about them. And the only way to do, get over a fear of doing something, look above, right, the blog that I wrote, the only way to get over a fear of doing something is to simply do what Nike says, just do it. All right. Uncomfortable at first, you're going outside your comfort zone. Let me tell you a story of a good friend of mine. I'll call her Hazel because uh, I won't <laughs> use her real name. She's scared to death of water. Never wanted water on her face. Got to the point where she would go in the shower, couldn't even have water, the shower, go on her, you know, rush on her face. And it was always a problem because she wanted to swim and she couldn't swim with her friends. They'd go to the lake and everybody was in there having a good time, but she was on the beach. Or if they were in a pool, she'd be sitting on the side watching everybody and she got tired of it. What happened was she was at a sporting event with her then boyfriend. And they were horsing around. She had this big cup of water, ice water, and somehow he hit her arm. The water splashed in her face, and immediately she had a meltdown. She just bawled and cried. And she said, I'm not doing this anymore. So she went back home, and there happened to be somebody in my town I, when I lived in Pennsylvania that took people that are afraid, scared to death of water, and taught her how to swim, starting very gently to get her face wet. And then eventually having her go underwater and her face being completely submerged and then eventually moving farther and farther out into the pool and then taking strokes slowly and she taught my friend Hazel and you know who you are it's not your name how to swim and she faced those fears see you can do the same thing it's these little incremental uh, things that you do the incremental steps that get you over the fears just like success People that are successful on any scale, even on a major scale, did not just land there. It takes incremental steps, and everybody is capable of it. So I'm going to be doing these blogs from time to time, hopefully once a week, and I hope you'll stay with me. And I really enjoyed being here uh, with you. Feel free again to email me, tim at timpick.com. Check out my website, triple W, corporate speaker for you. You can either use the number four or F O U R. You, corporate speaker for you, all one word. Check it out. Email me, call me, hire me. All right.